during all of those low conversations in this quiet cavern, Caleb uh, would be feeling pretty fucking shameful, um, particularly after hearing most of that, and has already wandered uh, to the entrance to this chamber and sends Frumpkin off about 90 feet down just to listen for me. And he just goes about putting the dome up in the mouth of the tunnel to make the cork that round. started earlier. Okay. It's 13. After um, Caleb finishes the dome. I'll keep doing this for a bit. Um, I'm gonna go over to Caleb. You should rest. Oh, um, yeah. Um, be- before that, um, would you help me with something? Uh, and he pulls out the collar that he's been working on privately. Uh, I have been tinkering with this for quite some time, and I'm having um, trouble with it. It might need more than one set of hands every time I try to insert this, I mess it up. Um, if I if I hold the the collar itself, would you try um, to get it into the casing? Is here, and there is a ridge along the edge, but you have to be very careful with that because it could shatter. And I only have one, and I need this so that. Anyway. So that what? what? This looks like a collar you put around someone's neck. It is. So who do you plan on putting this collar on? My, my old teacher. Wow, that would be really cool. I can't don't know if it's really his style, but... It will be soon. I can't let what happened in here be for nothing. It's time for him to be silenced. Yeah. So, um, I will hold it, uh, and if you could try to, um, careful. Mm, I guess I'll go try to put it in. Okay. So. Can I, I cast guidance on myself as I'm trying can. to do this? And then go ahead and attempt a dexterity check. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Set it down, set it down. Um. Uh, okay. I pull out one of the pearls that I purchased in the Alexandrum, and I place it against your forehead, and my free hand begins to trace geometric patterns around it, and you see those in your mind. Okay, now we try. for my fours. Dexterity? Mm-hmm. 23? Now you've worked quite a bit on this device, and it's confounded you in certain places, but you've eventually managed to maneuver past some of these oh, challenges. And I can use my jeweler's... I don't have jeweler's tools. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> cool. If you had them, you could have. I could have. Um, but it's the placement is so sensitive in this without breaking it, and there's times you've gotten close, but you've not trusted yourself and you've pulled away. And it's been this constant struggle of like, you got one shot at this. <clears throat> and as you carefully look inside, your painterly touch the artistic dexterity that you've relied on for most of your life comes in extremely handy as you expertly place 
this red gem into the gap, and as it slides into place, you maneuver it to connect all the various converging lines of arcane channeling. And as it does, the red gem boom, begins to glow red. As it does, you watch as these tiny little bits of dull filigree along the outer rim of this claw begin to glow that same red color, and it hums faintly with arcane energy. Is, that, is it supposed to do that? Is that good? Go team! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Of course, yeah. I, I need to, I, I'm going to need more time with it. But... Now we just have to convince him to put it on. It's like no the problem. time that I've tried to do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't blame yourself for any of this. I know it's kind of what you're prone to do, Caleb, but this is on all of us. We're a family now. This is this is what we do. And we're going to make it better. Reaches his hand out and just sort of like squeezes the back of her hand on the ground. Yeah, I'll keep trying to remind myself of that. Get some sleep. Your dorm only stays up for a few hours. Take advantage of it. Okay. At this point, you hear the footsteps approach of Marion Lavor, who's been kind of on the periphery listening to part of this, and goes, I've been around a bit longer than most of you, really. And I've met many people. Some good, some very bad. If there's one thing I've come to know, the good people are easy to be misled to think they're at fault for the things that bad people use to victimize them. It's how they stay in power. If they convince us that we are responsible for every terrible thing that comes upon us, they're absolved. Blame's a tricky thing. I'm sure we all have our own guilts that we keep. The gods know I have mine. But I've been told enough times in my life that I'm responsible for the bad things that befall me. And it's taken me this long to know that that's not true. Caleb um, bites his tongue and doesn't try to explain or reason away or sidestep and just listen. We share something for him. We're here now together because you all kept us safe. And if you hadn't done this, I, who knows how much worse it could have been. So, don't forget to focus on the good things you do. And she kind of puts her hands on your shoulders, Jester, and kind of gives a little squeeze and goes against you. This is much more comfortable space to be sitting. Do you mind if we all move into this dome? Uh, yes, please. It's so it does. Um, not as hot. She kind of gives a notification, and eventually all of you kind of meander over to the dome.